Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys hit the like button, smash that like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest, greatest of boxing. The words of Flavor Flav. Wow! Well, I did a video about Golovkin being injured and. 20,000 plus views later a lot of people have different things to say. I spoke my opinion. I want to give you guys an update So link in the description Yahoo Sports Chris Mannix who's worked with them for a while He posted the article now the title is sources Gennady Golovkin to skip June fight to focus on September showdown with Canelo Alvarez, right? And they said in the article again, it's link in the description that Golovkin is experiencing soreness from his Daniel Jacobs fight and it's too quick of a turnaround to fight Billy Joe Saunders, the only missing link to him becoming undisputed middleweight champion because Billy Joe Saunders has the WBO belt. And as a result, they've opted to bypass a June fight, even though Billy Joe Saunders has his pin. He's like, I got his pin. I did videos about all this. Billy Joe Saunders, I, I got my pin. He's wearing shirts that say Triple G is a pussy. Borat unification with Billy Joe Saunders. Frank Warren got on the, her the horn. See, this is... It's getting kind of sloppy. Frank, Hor Frank Warren did a video. He said, hey, I was told he was injured. And then I did a video. All the videos are, I'll try to link them all in the description so you can see. Abel Sanchez did an interview with ringtv.com. And I linked to the article and everything. So you watch the videos, you can go to the links. And Abel Sanchez was like, oh, no, Golovkin, I'm going to say he's not injured. He never told me. I don't think he's, I don't know what Frank Warren's talking about. And I told you guys in that video, that sounded fishy because Frank Warren is a 60 plus year old man and a promoter. His fighter saying he wants to fight, getting t-shirts printed up, saying Golovkin's a bitch, unify with me, yada, yada, yada. And what what does a 60 something year old man really have to lie for about hearing that Golovkin was injured? Like he just pulled that out of thin air and said that, yeah, I understand. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. But it didn't really seem likely. And like his body language, he was just having, it was very casual. It was an IFL TV interview. Did a video about that. Did a video about Abel Sanchez. But I, I presented the question, which nobody answered in that Abel Sanchez rebuttal to Frank Warren video about him being injured. Abel was like dismissing it. Like, oh, he's not injured per se. Like, what what is that? And I said to you, like, in the video, what do you mean per se? There's no per se to it either he's injured or he's not either there's an injury you know about or he's not injured you know what i mean it's not like a per se type of deal this is someone who's your fighter who you communicate with on some level you could text so I, it doesn't make sense so like for example if someone said hey michael are you gay do you like dudes and the guy is totally straight he's not gonna be like i'm not gay per se I mean, why? What have you heard? Man, Cedric and them is lying. We was play fighting. Like, what? You know what I mean? You're not going to say I'm not gay per se. No, I'm not homosexual per se. I mean, men, like, what? What are you talking about? You would either, you would just, if you're straight, you would say flat out, no, I don't like dudes. I don't know where you heard that. That's false. What a lie. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to say I'm not gay per se. So that whole he's not injured per se was very weird to me. And then this is the other question that I presented in the video. Why would ringtv.com contact Abel Sanchez, the trainer, instead of who Frank Warren basically said told him the information, which was Tom Loeffler, the promoter who would be doing the negotiating and the dealings. Abel Sanchez is the trainer. He's not the one that negotiates the, the ring size and the split and all that type of details, location and venue. He's not the businessman, he's a trainer, just like a fighter's a fighter, trainer's train. So it, it was weird that Abel Sanchez is in the headlines rebuttaling what Frank Warren said about the injured. Now come to find out Yahoo Sports is basically corroborating what Frank Warren said about the injury, saying Golovkin is experiencing soreness. And in the Yahoo Sports article, it says Golovkin's promoter, Tom Loeffler, declined comment. Which means if, if you say someone declined comment, that means you asked him or you tried to reach out to him and you got no response. And usually in articles, when, when someone just hasn't respond, responded, they'll say Tom Loeffler declined 
to response or hasn't returned the call or whatever. So if you're saying he declined comment, that to me is more indicative of you asked him and he didn't give you any information. He's like, I'm not, I'm not going to answer that or whatever. Kind of like pleading the fifth. Maybe it's you couldn't get a hold of him, but declined comment to me stipulates that you you asked him the question about the Billy Joe Sanders and he refused or he did not oblige and answer the question. And Abel Sanchez told Yahoo Sports he was sore, referring to Gennady Golovkin. He had a 12 round fight. I didn't see it the first day in the dressing room. Usually the second or third day you start to feel it and I didn't check in with him right after. After a long training camp, I'm the last person he, he would want to see. He's not a complainer. It's just natural soreness. It was a difficult fight. So I have a couple, I have a couple different, I guess, points to bring up when, when it comes to that. Is this whole Abel Sanchez interview with Ring TV? That was just last week. The, the I was at the Jacobs fight. I've been home for a minute. The Jacobs fight was three weeks ago. So if you're having natural soreness, just do the, the chronological timeline. The Jacobs fight, I'm looking at the video right now that I posted from the New York post-fight press conference. On YouTube, it says three weeks ago. And I'm going to screenshot it so you guys can see in the, the final video. So I was there, and that was three weeks ago. So if you have natural soreness in and the soreness shows up two or three days after, then wouldn't you have known if Golovkin was injured? So to me, it's it's really fishy, this story that I'm hearing, because it's not like the fight just happened and you hadn't checked with him. That's what he's saying to Yahoo. He said, usually the soreness doesn't happen until the second or third day, but we're talking about this whole Golovkin being injured, this Frank Warren IFL interview. Let me try to pull that up. Frank Warren IFL TV Golovkin injured that was four days ago so you know what I mean two and a half three weeks ago was the fight and the injury claim just recently happened so how did you not know about it at the time you're doing the ring TV interview so in the words of conceited looking shaky baby it does it's not adding up to me the other thing this goes to if let's say Golovkin really is injured because I don't know he's human so it's, it's definitely possible I think Golovkin has a hell of a chin and a hell of a poker face but I do think those shots were hurting him so it's, it's certainly possible that he is injured but this I told you guys 2017 was going to be a bad year for a lot of you guys who allegedly cover boxing boxing writers because it's a new era in, in terms of media tell the truth tell the truth you got to tell the truth. And there were a lot of fans. I remember doing videos and I told people, in my opinion, I had Jacobs winning the fight. I thought after the knockdown, just like Warkov left, he switched some things and he was letting his hands go more. Golovkin did have a good jab, but you were getting people get this twisted. Golovkin had a higher percentage, but Jacobs landed more power punches. But the way the way it's broken down, if you threw a thousand punches and you landed 500 Jacobs landed 562 but he he threw less so it'll look like the Golovkin will have a higher percentage because he threw more but how many punches you throw doesn't really matter it's really how many you land and Jacobs landed more power punches right and I thought the fight was going more of of his way and we were seeing Golovkin the bully who wasn't being able to get off and cut off the ring like he normally does I had Jacobs winning but fans who got mad at my post fight they said oh you seen jacob's face at the end of the fight post fight he was wearing sunglasses haha ha. who really won golovkin clearly won golovkin he 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 was his face was clean and jacob's like that's how i know when i'm talking to rookies you just still judge faces to determine who won you probably didn't even watch the fight you watch highlights you know what i mean you can't look at someone's face and always determine who won because i've seen guys whose face is all busted up and then they actually won the fight. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's crazy to me. Like, you look at the fight Juan Manuel Marquez versus Manny Pacquiao part four, it looked like Marquez's nose was broken. He was bleeding at, 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 he's the one that knocked out Pacquiao, but Pacquiao's face was clean. He just got knocked out and face planted. Marquez, it looked like his nose was broke to me. You know what I mean? And he was bleeding. He had a nosebleed and swelling and 
his eye looked a little bit more sunken in but Pacquiao's face looked clean but Pacquiao was the one that got knocked out so that's how you know when you're immediately talking to casual fans and rookies because that's what they look at oh Jacobs had glasses but apparently this dispels that Golovkin is invincible this also dispels that just because Jacobs had sunglasses on clearly didn't mean anything if if they're saying Golovkin is not fit for battle so soon because he's still sore so he's not going to fight Billy Joe Saunders this was Golovkin per their own words this fight and getting all the belts they're one step away from getting all the belts and they're choosing to sit out instead of fighting Billy Joe Saunders who now has a newfound confidence Golovkin his last two fights people have said he was exposed Kell Brook even though he knocked him out or got a stoppage and then the Daniel Jacobs controversy some people thought Golovkin won some people thought Jacobs won but again all those people saying oh but Jacobs was wearing sunglasses Golovkin wasn't so how do you explain why he's opting not to fulfill his career-long dream of being the undisputed middleweight champions by getting a crack at the only remaining belt holder in his division to hold out for Canelo right so something's not adding up with the picture and is he really that sore are they just holding out for Canelo and you guys tell me what you think it is in the comment section but I will say this if they're opting to not fight Billy Joe Sanders in June just to wait for Canelo and get the outcome of Canelo Chavez Jr., then I think that's very hypocritical of Team Golovkin. Simple reason, Team Golovkin, they criticized Canelo Alvarez. They said, oh, no, he's, he's not a he's not real fighter. He's a businessman. He, he's a business fight. Him and Amir Khan, business fight. It's not good for boxing, right? They said all of that. Abel, Golovkin, all of them. They said, Floyd Mayweather, no, he, he has a TMZ interview. Triple G was like, no. Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Connor. He said, he said Connor, it's, it's, it's not true fight. It's not a true fight. So you can't be pointing the finger at everybody else saying they're businessmen and they're not good for boxing and not real fighters and they're businessmen if you're holding out trying to get the money fight. Because you clearly he'll make, I, I take nothing away, he'll definitely make more money fighting the Canelo Chavez Jr. winner than he will fighting Billy Joe Saunders. But their whole goal since they came in the gates they said a few things we could beat anyone from 54 to 68 and we want to be undisputed middleweight champion like bernard hopkins we want to unify and, and we want that that's why golovkin's hanging around middleweight even though for a period of time it was stagnant so it really seems like the walls are closing in on gennady golovkin to make some tough decisions and it's just any way you slice it it's it's not necessarily a good look because again their whole goal since coming in the game was to be undisputed now you have an opportunity and you're saying the fighter's not ready so when have we known Golovkin you said he's not a complainer but he's obviously not going to fight Billy Joe Saunders so this is probably a win for Billy Joe Saunders because most people said he was scary he was afraid and it, that's the way it honestly looked I, I give it a fair shake and I call it how I see it. it looked like Billy Joe Saunders based on what he was saying oh Golovkin will beat my ass and Chris Eubanks asked in the same day and oh yeah I, I waited until Golovkin got a certain age but now that he's 35 he just had a birthday and he now he's too sore to fight Billy Joe Saunders to become undisputed middleweight champion so either he's really sore from the Daniel Jacobs fight which that if that is the case like they're saying to Yahoo Sports then Jacobs must have done some damage in there you know what I mean which which is contrary to a lot of the people who are screaming saying that Golovkin won easy and it wasn't an easy fight it wasn't Ward Kovalev Kovalev was robbed but Golovkin there was no robbery there you know you can now you can make a real argument there because I had Jacobs winning before I knew he was sore from wear and tear and injured and all this and it's just like I said it's not a good look because there's a lot of loose strings Frank Warren does the IFL TV interview and he says, I don't know. I was told Golovkin was injured, so we don't know what's up with the fight. My guy's ready. He wants it. I want it. He deserves it. And people, they say, oh, Frank Warren doesn't know what he's talking about. Golovkin couldn't possibly be injured. But now his team's saying he's injured. So that's one option. Maybe he really is injured, which, again, all the people judging the Jacobs fight based on J Jacobs having glasses post-fight, 
he clearly got his his end too and clearly got his work off if Golovkin is now not realizing his middleweight dreams for middleweight supremacy by by filling in the blanks and getting that last belt the last missing link to being undisputed and having all the belts they were making hashtag hashtag all the belts right so obviously Jacobs must have did a number on him if he's willing to sit out an upcoming fight to wait for the Canelo fight or the option is they're just saying that just because they want the Canelo fight and Oscar De La Hoya maybe scared him because he said hey we got investors and people ready to promote the day after Chavez Jr. so if if Canelo goes in there and beats Chavez Jr. we're ready to go for September and if you fight with Billy Joe Saunders he told De La Hoya said this to the Los Angeles Times he says, if you say this to Billy, if you fight Billy Joe Sanders, it's going to completely be a disrespect and it's going to derail everything. And you probably won't fight Canelo in September. So either that scare tactic worked and now they're trying to sit out and say, ah, we don't care about being undisputed. But then that would make the team look hypocritical. So any way you slice it, not really a good look for the 35 year old Gennady Golovkin. You guys let me know in, your, in the comments section. What do you make of this? But Frank Warren has been vindicated. What he said is in fact true, it sounds like, because Yahoo Sports and Chris Mannix, is, he's, a, he's, he's a respected and Yahoo Sports, they've provided tons of credible information. So I don't, and they, they said they heard this from multiple sources. So I think they are in the know and in the loop. I don't, it's not like just a, a gossip blog or whatever. This is Yahoo Sports we're talking about, right? So anyway, you slice it, not necessarily the best look for Team Golovkin especially if they're not really sore and they're they're holding out in hopes of getting Canelo. There's too many variables. Canelo could lose to Chavez Jr. Or even if he doesn't lose, what if he won, but he won and it wasn't in a convincing fashion? Then that wouldn't be a good look to see Canelo. You know what I mean? If he can't get past Chavez Jr., that's going to hurt the... Or if he can't clearly get past Chavez Jr., it's going to hurt the idea and people's belief that he can get past Golovkin. You know what I mean? But maybe Golovkin really is injured. But then that just that refutes what people were saying about, oh, Jacobs really wasn't hitting that hard. And Jacobs was wearing glasses because this was Team Golovkin's number one goal is to become undisputed. And now they're not fit for battle just right away. So as far as I'm concerned, Frank Warren has been vindicated. What he said, in fact, sounds true. And Billy Joe Saunders has all this stuff about him ducking last year. That was then. This is now. And they did not do a good job of calling his bluff because it looks like Team Golovkin is the one that's going to skip and sit out of a June unification for all the marbles, undisputed middleweight champion. And they're going to rest up, come back, and hold out for a Canelo Alvarez fight. Unreal. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.